Tonight's reality check, a Mobile County woman says she's being slapped with a hefty bill from an unlikely source. The Chickasaw Housing Authority paperwork she provided shows her rent jumped up to more than $3,500 a month. She spoke with NBC 15's Andrea Ramey today. Andrea, the woman says the Housing Authority is trying to backdate her rent. Yeah, now she says she's stuck with a $10,000 bill she can't afford to pay. Last month, Melanie Thornton received this notice of rent adjustment from the Chickasaw Housing Authority, stating she'd go from paying 48 bucks a month to $3,538. I never thought in my wildest dreams it would be $3,500 a month for that apartment. For years, Thornton, a nurse who previously filed for bankruptcy, had been paying $526 a month for this two-bedroom unit on Lanier Street. When she returned to school full-time in 2018, it went down to $48 a month. The problem, Thornton returned to work as a contract nurse in late June and missed the 10-day deadline to inform the housing authority of her new income. Thornton says she's not trying to make excuses. She understands she missed the deadline. What I can say to people is that sometimes life get in the way. She assumed because of paperwork provided by the housing authority that shows the market value of a two bedroom unit at $874 a month. That's what she'd have to pay back for July and August and pay moving forward. Instead, she says she now owes more than $10,000 for three months rent. I said that's like financial ruin. Chickasaw Housing Authority says its hands are tied. The rent is regulated and set at 30% of a person's gross annual income. When we converted to this new program, we are prohibited from establishing those, uh, those ceilings and we cannot use the market rents either. Uh, I think, you know, really kind of the, uh, the justification that HUD has with that is that, you know, once a person gets to a certain level of income that they're kind of expected to to open up that spot for another deserving person who needs affordable housing. Thornton says it wasn't easy for her to come forward. She's hoping by doing so, she's able to draw attention to the authority's uncapped rent regulation and the stress it creates. I'm not proud of, of being there as long as I've been there, but things happened in my life. With the bankruptcy, it seemed like every time I tried to make five steps forward, it's ten back. The Housing Authority says if she doesn't pay, she'll be sent to collections, but that she can appeal her case to the D.C. office. In Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.